Pro Control brings to a Pro Tools session the ease of use associated with analog recording consoles. Let's take a look. The Control Room Monitoring section provides all the familiar volume controls and switches for main and alternate speakers, and auxiliary volumes for headphones and sends. This is the only part of the console that audio actually passes through, and great care has been taken to ensure high-quality audio reproduction. Comprehensive routing capabilities for surround sound and control room dubbing is described in the Pro Control Manual. The talkback volume and mic are also located here, and the talkback button is conveniently located near the transport control. The familiar transport controls are augmented with additional features like the online button, return to zero, go to end, external transport, loop playback and loop record, and quick punch. Using Pro Control, we can select the transport and memory location windows in Pro Tools. Use the keypad to select a location and play from there. A special feature of Pro Control is the audition section. Here you can instantly access pre and post roll and in and out points. Let's audition pre roll. This works with external machines engaged as well. Now let's take a look at how fast it is to get to the faders and channels you need, especially in large sessions. Use the Bank Select section to move in increments of 8, 16, 24, or 32 channels, depending on how many fader packs are being used. On an 8-channel Pro Control system, the current Pro Tools channels are highlighted in blue, and on expanded systems, a different color outline is used to represent each bank. Use the Nudge button to move in single channel increments. Here's another way. Say we want to go to the bass track, which is track 5. Using the channel matrix, hit the Go To button, and the number you select will place that channel at the far left fader strip. While this demo just scratches the surface, it's clear that Pro Control makes it easy to fly around a large session with the greatest of ease.